This morning, the U.S. Supreme Court will begin hearing oral arguments on one of the biggest civil rights issues facing the country, same-sex marriage. It's a decision that could change the lives of gay couples all across the country, and hundreds of people have been lined up for days to try and get a seat inside. Our Sam Sweeney is live at the Supreme Court with more. Sam, I understand that some people paid folks $5,000 to hold their place in line? Audrey, that's right. They've been here since Friday night. There are several companies that actually provide that service, and they will sit here from Friday until the day of this court case so you can get a seat inside and not have to sit here. And some of those people, yes, paying up to $5,000. Now, those people wanting to be inside say they are here because this is simply one of the biggest cases of our time. Two questions need to be answered in this case today. Does same-sex marriage need to be recognized by all 50 states? And for those states where same-sex marriage is not legal or simply unconstitutional right now, do they need to recognize marriages from outside of this state? Now, I am joined by two plaintiffs in this case, Dr. Val Tanko and her wife, Sophie Jesty. They met four years ago while they were in med school. They have a one-year-old daughter together. Ladies, what has led up to this moment for you? Well, a lot of time and energy has led up to it. This is an incredibly important day for us and our family personally. As you mentioned, we have a daughter. Uh, we were legally married in the state of New York and now live in a state, Tennessee, that doesn't recognize that marriage. So it's, it's been a lot of uh, sort of time and effort and, and uh, a big fight sort of trying to get our rights back. Um, but it's just an, an incredibly important day, I think, for same-sex families throughout the country. This, this is really, I think, a watershed case. It's just an amazing an amazing thing to be here. Thank you so much, ladies. I appreciate it. Thank you. Now, oral arguments are set to begin at 10 o'clock this morning. They should last about 90 minutes, which is an unprecedented amount of time as far as the Supreme Court goes. Those justices will make a decision in June. Reporting live outside the U.S. Supreme Court, I'm Sam Sweeney, News Channel 8.